Hello everyone, welcome to Vicar David's 60 second slot. I wonder if you know who this person is. You know who this person is? Yes, I'm sure you've recognised him by now. It's Rick Astley. Rick Astley in his pomp in the 1980s. As I'm sure you remember him singing, uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Never gonna give you up, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna play around or desert you. And the equally good, together forever, together we do. She might remember. Well, I remember Rick Astley being very famous um, in the 1980s, as famous as a pop star could ever be at the time. Then he kind of faded out of view for a bit. But now he's back. He's come back. He's as popular now with the young people as he's ever been. Uh, there's such a thing as uh, Rick Rolling, where you send uh, someone a link for something, um, URL link, and they open it and it turns out to be Rick singing Never Gonna Give You Up. Well, I have to say, at the time his music was out, it wasn't really the kind of music I was listening to away studying. And um, when I, uh, I when I play my own uh, youngsters, my own family, the music that I did listen to then, the youngsters who like Rick Astley now, the, the reaction that I get is, what's this, what's this rubbish? Get it off, turn it off, I'm not listening to this. Well, at times like that, it, passage from Matthew's Gospel, chapter seven, it's called to mind, do not, Give what is holy to the dogs, they'll just turn and attack you. Do not feed your pearls to the pigs, they'll just trample it underfoot. But no doubt people who like um, Rick's music will have the same opinion of my tastes. That passage comes after a passage about not judging people and thinking that uh, you shouldn't think yourself better than anybody else. And I think that's partly behind this uh, strange and puzzling image. Uh, by the way, to understand that at Jesus' time, the pigs were considered unclean. No one would eat anything from a pig. So that lends that um, passage a, a different understanding, perhaps. And some people have taken this to mean that um, you shouldn't share not just the things that you hold precious, but the things that really are precious, our, our faith in God with people who perhaps won't be receptive to it. I'm not, not very sure about that. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that argument at all because if, if what is good, if what's from God is the very best thing of all, then surely we should be sharing that no matter how it's received. One thing I am sure about, though, is that no matter how receptive or otherwise we are, no matter how um, people value what God always holds out and always offers to us, no matter how we receive it, God will always carry on offering it in loving, self-giving generosity. Because I believe when God regards us, he regards us as his precious children. And he says to us, never going to give you up. Thank you for watching and God bless.